The man police say killed 10 people at a ballroom dance studio during Lunar New Year celebrations in California is dead. And now they're searching for the motive. Flags across the nation, including here at the White House as we take a live look, and also here in North Carolina, flying in half staff in honor of the victims. Madeline Rivera reports from Monterey Park. Flowers and candles line the sidewalk outside of this ballroom dance studio in Monterey Park, California. The memorial pays tribute to the victims of Saturday's mass shooting that left at least 10 people dead and 10 others hurt. One of the victims who was killed has been identified as dance instructor Mingwei Ma. Everyone's in shock and um, yeah, just the timing of it like, during the Lunar Festival just very crazy. On Sunday, the suspected gunman, 72-year-old Hu Can Tran, was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in a white van. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office says he fled in that vehicle after he went to another dance studio in Alhambra following the first incident. There, police say someone wrestled a firearm away from him. A SWAT team found another weapon, a handgun, inside the van. Several pieces of evidence were found inside the van linking the suspect to both locations in, El, in uh, Monterey Park in Alhambra. Monterey Park is home to one of California's largest Lunar New Year celebrations. Just hours before Saturday's shooting, thousands had been gathered nearby to celebrate. Residents say this tragedy cast a shadow over the holiday. All the residents, all the merchandise is speaking Chinese, so a lot of native Chinese people would just gather here. Madeline Rivera reporting. Stay with WRL after our six o'clock news. Lester Holt has traveled to Monterey Park. He's spending the day digging into the shooting investigation, possible motives, and listening to stories. The man authorities believe is responsible for killing 10 people at a ballroom dance hall is no longer a threat. Investigators say 72-year-old Hu Can Tran opened fire inside that crowded ballroom in Monterey Park after 10 p.m. on Saturday. Additional units requested multiple victims, gunshot wounds. Five men and five women were killed and 10 others wounded. Witnesses inside described the confusing chaos, initially mistaking the gunfire for celebratory fireworks. Outside, emergency crews treated the wounded in a nearby parking lot and transported others to area hospitals. It happened in one of the largest Asian American communities in the country, about seven miles east of downtown Los Angeles. Earlier Saturday, thousands were at a festival to celebrate the Lunar New Year, including Amber Clements. You were a few blocks away, and what did you hear? Like, it was like six continuous, like, shots. Tran had been a familiar face at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio in Monterey Park, though it's unclear how often he visited recently, three people who knew him told CNN. While investigators have not yet determined a motive, they say this may not have been the gunman's only target. Just 20 minutes after fleeing the first scene, the armed shooter went to a different ballroom dance hall. The sheriff says two people inside wrestled the weapon away from him, and he ran. He was disarmed. Uh, by two community members who I consider to be heroes because they saved lives. It took more than 12 hours for officers to locate the elderly suspect inside this white van about 30 miles away from the crime scene. Tactical teams breaking through the van's windows, finding the suspect behind the wheel with a fatal self-inflicted gunshot wound. Overnight, authorities carrying out a search warrant of the suspect's home, the shooting leaving his neighbors shocked. Well, he's kept to himself. You just don't know day to day what, who's who and what's what. Authorities trying to reassure the community there is no threat anymore. You are no longer in danger because this shooter is gone. But the aftershocks are still being felt. I tried to reach them, I didn't get any answer. This woman was searching for a friend who had visited the ballroom before, worried she may be one of the victims. Ten lives ended while out to celebrate a new beginning. They are family to us. We've known some of them have been here for 30 years. Well, this is where it all happened inside the Star Dance Studio just behind us. Ten killed, ten others injured. 
The massacre carried out, police say, by 72-year-old Hu Ken Tran, armed with a semi-automatic pistol with a high-capacity magazine, a weapon that's illegal here in the state of California. And after that attack, he apparently drove to another dance hall in Alhambra, which is a neighboring community. This time, though, as he walked in, someone at the club overpowered him and took the weapon. Hours later, police tracking down his van officers saying he took his own life as a SWAT team moved in. As the investigation continues, the focus has shifted to about 80 miles east of where we are right now in Hemet. That's where Tran apparently lived and where investigators continue to search through his mobile home for any evidence that may help them as well as this grieving community understand how and why it happened. That's the latest here in Monterey Park. I'm Jay Gray. Now back to you.